Good morning and welcome to Jen Diggles. Today is August 5th, 2019. Old timers. Hi, how are everyone? How was your week? Did you have a good one? Did you see my video on Friday? Hope so. There's not much change from Friday, um, 0.2 pounds, but I wanted to say that I worked 30,000 steps from, on Saturday and Sunday. We got a lot of walking exercise. Uh, we had our grandson Arthur here and Ian's son Tom and his wife and Arthur's a lovely baby and um, I was just really grateful that we got to spend some time with him. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so lots of exercise. So 2.8 pounds on the week and I feel really good. Uh, I know that I said a couple weeks ago that um, uh, there, this month's recordings would be split up, so I'm going to do this week's, obviously, because I'm doing it, and then next week there won't be one because I'll have Byron and for Poppy Summer Camp, and then the week after Joe and Emily are coming, so there'll be a two-week break after this one, but hopefully I'll be doubly lighter than I was this week, so I was really, really pleased. Um, it was sort of intentional exercise and not intentional exercise, as it were. Um, I did eat healthier. I ate a lot of fruit and veg and... Yeah, and I actually felt the better for it. I mean, to the point of tears, thinking, holy crap, I feel so much better for eating this and that junk and stuff. We did order pizza on Friday because it was just kind of hot here. And to be honest with you, I'd been working outside before they got here Friday with Ian doing a lot of different things. And, um, yeah, a lot of different things. Uh, patio cleaning, uh, floor cleaning floor painting and all sorts of things um, outside concrete painting um, trying to think what else happened that day well of course we had to set this room up which is not set up anymore and I'm sorry I'm in a different place and I can see that there's a reflection from my mobile phone um, cell phone uh, flashlight on my face but things had to change in here we had a collapse in my sewing cupboard which I'll talk about later so I'm in a different spot and I'm gonna have to do my broadcasting from this spot moving forward because of where my computer had to move to so sorry if it's upsetting people or there's a shadow I can kind of see shadow on this side of my face um, but I can't really do anything about that right now I will figure something out I swear um, yeah so anyway uh, so yeah, so this room all got, all the bedding got washed and everything got put back the way it was and obviously Blossom's enjoying her, her, having her little nappy time bed back. Uh, yeah, yesterday the, Tom and his wife and the baby left fairly early in the morning and so we were able to get some work done. We obviously got some work done early in the morning and then it had been a long weekend I mean we're old and having a baby around and um you know gas is kind of tiring at our age and so um yeah so we kind of edged out yesterday uh the weather has been very changeable here so it's been kind of good and kind of bad for my diet in that I was getting a lot of exercise working outside for a few days and then it's rained so much we've had flooding not at my house mind but nearby in a nearby county in Derbyshire and a dam broke and you know we've just been getting some torrential downpours here but it's good for the garden I have I'm on my third go of potatoes so I'm harvesting a lot of potatoes and things like that uh, I've got a shed load of um, cherry tomatoes coming which I'm really excited about um, I'm going to dry some of them and I'm going to can some of them to use them this winter for paste and things like that and um, I have corn cobs now on my corn outside which is really really nice and I think the warm weather's helped that so there's more healthy eating right out of the garden my herbs are doing great Kim your clematis is up and it's beautiful and it's flowered and they're gorgeous these fuchsia pinky purple oh they're lovely I love them I love you so much thank you um yeah they're beautiful they're in my side bed with another 
um, clematis plant which is like a starburst clematis and they just look gorgeous together it's so pretty and that's kind of a bee garden area too so the bees are enjoying the flowers as well um, so yeah so it's been gardening and things and exercise um, one thing I noticed about eating healthier was my mental attitude changed I was more inclined to push thoughts of junk food away um, and keeping busy helps obviously now Ian's gone back to work and I have uh, four days uh, kind of to myself and I noticed this morning I kind of moved back into my old routine I haven't eaten anything um, yet today but you know my, my routine is kind of you know Ian goes to work I do some housework I'll play with Blossom, we play fetch and things like that, especially today we have to do it inside because it's raining again. Um, so my plan had been if it wasn't raining that I would get myself around today, get outside, um, paint the patio floor one more time because the sealer is coming today and you know be able to get that all done and sealed but I don't think I'm going to and Ian asked Alexa what the forecast was for tomorrow and it's thunderstorms so ugh, you know but yeah I think I can find some things to do in here that'll keep me as busy and you know I think for me I guess where I'm going with this is it's a lot more fun to accomplish a task around your own home that needs to be done like the painting like the second coat on the barrier wall between us and racist Rachel next door and um, that's a lot it's a lot it's more a more pleasant way to to lose weight than not that any of my exercise videos are unpleasant it's just kind of dull compared to getting some things done in the garden and so there you go uh but yeah yeah uh so getting back into my old routine of you know oh my god it's raining out i come up you know i do some housework i played with blossom i came up here i picked up things on my facebook game and i thought oh god i'm back in my old routine after i've had like a week and a half of not having that routine right um so and you can't help the weather can you but i'm just like <laughs> why why <laughs> anyway yeah so anyway yeah so uh it's gone really well and i've been rambling on for eight minutes about the so what happened what was i told you all the good so i'll tell you the kind of not good um on Thursday when I was sewing elbow pads for Ninja Turtle costumes I broke my sewing machine permanently broke my sewing machine and I was devastated I mean proper devastated and yes for everybody who's going to ask me that question is it permanently broke it is permanently broken there's Unless I replace the guts of it, which is going to cost me as much as the new machine that I bought, uh, which will be here tomorrow. Yeah. I'm really sad because I bought that machine when I was in Doha, which was going on nearly five years ago now. And yeah. I, th I did everything I was supposed to. I used a denim needle. It's just like, I think my machine was just worn out. It gets used every day. And I know a lot of people's machines get worn out. But that was uh, just like one of those Project Runway machines. So I don't think it was really bu built for that kind of abuse. You know, I sew everything on a canvas and faux leather and, you know, all sorts. And it just shit the bed. Plus, it's been shipped from the Middle East in a cargo plane in a cargo hold with stuff banging up against it and then it came over on a freighter ship from America back to England and it probably got banged up there as well so yeah I'm sad goodbye to American plugs except for my television here in front of me that I use for a monitor 
and my stereo downstairs, my record player downstairs. But, um, yeah, so I ordered an Anovis and F420 or whatever it was. Um, it's a little bit of an upgrade and it cost a lot more than the Project Runway machine. Uh, it's a quilting machine, so the arm is longer and um, it's got embroidery on it. Um, I got it on sale, so I got it for about 200 pounds less than it would have normally been, which means the markup must be outrageous on those machines. Because you normal people, um, having been in the business world, sell their, you know, FMGs, which is fast moving goods, which is a sewing machine would be a fast moving good as far as I'm concerned, uh, but at about a 300% profit. So, yeah, I'm thinking, holy shit, that machine should really be, you know, oh, about 120 pounds, not 579. Um, but, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that coming tomorrow and getting it set up and watching the DVD and getting used to it and reading the books because I, unlike some people in the world who I will just say have penises, um, read the manual. <laughs> so I RTFM and uh, yeah so I'm looking forward to that but yeah like this whole unit we had trouble yesterday um, one of the drawers collapsed Ian did the best that he could in building this up it was my idea to use this armoire and he just feels awful every day about the setup and the state and it does jiggle a little bit here i'll show you <laughs> but i like it it's okay so, but he's not happy and so yesterday i went on amazon as people do and i found a very large desk just a desk just a desktop on square steel proper heavy square steel and because it's basically a workbench and then I went and I found a keyboard tray that is really wide so it holds your mouse and your keyboard and to put underneath and probably next month I'll be getting that and this will all be gone but the TV won't have to move again and that's great because I don't want Ian to have to keep doing things I feel awful about it so he said if I did that, then he'd just put a floating shelf up here to put the printer on and I'd have to figure something out about my spinning wheel, which is fair enough. You know, my problem, not his. So anyway, yeah. So that's what happened with that. So I'm sad to see my old sewing machine go, but I'm happy to have a new Anovis and I'm looking forward to getting it and getting back in. Um, obviously since Friday, I think it was Friday morning, Thursday morning, um, there hasn't been a lot of crafting because it's been very busy here and don't look at my hair I am in pigtails again uh, it's done really but the felt all came which I showed you but the uh, sweatshirt material hadn't come yet and oh my god it weighs a metric ton so now that's arrived for the boys and that is way dark it is emerald it isn't that is dull that is so dull here let me see if I shut this off and I sit back, well, that's a little bit closer, but it's even brighter green than that. It's like a Cali green. So I know I can't sew today, but I can cut material because my table is set back up again. There's my old presser foot. Sadness. Sad presser foot. Anyway, yeah, so I can cut material today, so I'm going to do that. Um... Yeah, so standing still, bummer. Uh, but standing up, I guess, is burning more calories. Uh, so yeah, other than that, for the rest of the day, I have to, I still have to do the dishes downstairs from last night. And <clears throat> I am baking a banana cake because I have some bananas that are gonna go off if I don't use them for something. So I'm baking a banana cake and Somebody's up to something back there. <laughs> um, she was so, her nose was so out of joint with that baby hair. Very jealous. Blossom, what are you doing? Hey, lay down you. 
lay down. Um, yeah, so the banana cake, I have to make some kind of pasta salad. So I got some of that spinach, carrot, pasta stuff, you know, the vegetarian pasta stuffy. And I need to make a salad for dinner tonight. I've got uh, ground beef with 2% fat in it, which is very good. So I'm just going to make some burgers tonight. Because frankly, I cooked up a storm. Sorry over the weekend and don't fancy cooking a big meal again and Ian doesn't care so that's what I'm doing. I'm probably going to have some fruit for breakfast. I have made a large fruit salad for the weekend and uh, there's some of that left so I'll probably have that for breakfast this morning. Um, Ian went off with a Belvita biscuit this morning and no lunch because if I pack his lunch he doesn't run to the shop for me and since I can't drive yet um, I need him to go to the shop and he's fine with it because then he can buy junk and eat whatever the hell he wants rather than the healthy lunch that I pack for him. So yeah, so I had planned on doing laundry and then realized I used up all my laundry pods. So can't do any laundry, that kind of thing. Which would afford me a trip up and down the stairs. I have to go to the basement now and switch out the humidifier. For Ian, basement's coming along well. We still don't have the estimate for the kitchen. Um, back yet. Roger hasn't gotten back to us on that. So I'm starting to get a little antsy, but I think if he doesn't get back to us within the next week, then we will tell him he has to hold off and we'll just tell the floor people to come in because we were going to do the, f the kitchen and then the floors because we don't care whether it runs under the cupboards or not because basically we're going to sell the house. Um, so yeah, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have the floor people come in and just do the floor. So yeah. Oh, I'm just drinking some double bagger today. <laughs> Not going to say anything about that anymore than I just said. Um, chai tea this morning. In my Wicker Critters cup from Wicker Art Studios. Here, let's sh advertise a little bit for these folks. Got this last year at the Wool Festival. Here. Ta da! Now, ta da! There we go. Wicker Critters. There we go. Wickerfishartstudio.co.uk. Got tea on them. Anyway, yeah. So. I'm going to, yeah, I guess I'm going to go. This has been 17 minutes of cop, cop. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you're all doing well, that you managed to get a lot of exercise over the weekend and you're enjoying the end of summer. I'm so friggin' excited that it is August and that there's only 87 days till Halloween. I ordered candy corn. I don't want to hear it. I have candy corn every year and I ordered candy corn. So I'm waiting for that package to come from America. That will be fabulous. And I like it, but I don't like it a ton. So I might eat a piece a day. But I really, I have to have it in my house because it, to me, it, that's autumn. That says autumn, along with the eight gazillion other decorations that I put up in my house. She's gone back to sleep. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah, so obviously it's a little chillier here because of the rain. I'm wearing a sweater sweatshirt, and yeah, it's cold er, here. So anyway, right, I guess I'm going to get going. I hope you're all okay, Kim. I hope everything at your house is okay, and that you guys are doing well, and that you're looking forward to autumn, because we are. Anyway, right, I am going to jet and go get some work done, and yeah prepare dinner for my husband. Anyway, I hope you're alright. I hope everything's going well and take care of yourselves. Uh, and stick to it. You can do it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.